JDB here with another video. This is a quick video I want to make about the situation going on with WWE wrestler Titus O'Neil. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'll put a link in the description box to an article. I actually saw this on Facebook. And it's about him basically getting suspended for 90 days for grabbing Vince McMahon. Now, I will say that I... Probably one of, uh, used to be one of the biggest wrestling fans ever. I'd watch every show during the week. I would even watch some pay-per-views. You know, the family also liked wrestling. But as time went on and, and the wrestling changed, it went from, you know, you having your WWE or WWF and your WCW and ECW. Then it all became just WWE. And it just became... You know, just it wasn't the same. So there was a time where I just stopped watching wrestling for a long time. But over the last, I'd say, year or so, I've watched it every now and then. I, I think I watched it enough to know who's wrestling. You know, each week. You know, <clears throat> and I know of Titus O'Neil because he was in a tag team called the Prime Time Players. Yes. You know, very stereotypical. You know, WWE is known for being very stereotypical when it comes to black wrestlers. But um, you know, but Titus O'Neil has, you know, he had a bit of a win streak. You know, after I guess the tag team broke up, and and he's been on a winning streak. Um, but he lost like a a match Monday, and they're saying that um at the end of the Raw, when they were paying tribute to uh, Daniel Bryan who was retiring. And all the wrestlers came out on the top of the ramp. And Vince McMahon, I guess, was shaking everyone's hand. And I think he went to shake Titus O'Neil's hand. And Titus O'Neil sort of uh, pulled him in for a hug. You know how when you, you, you shake someone's hand and you pull them in for a hug? I think he did that. And the whole situation looked playful. Um, he, he really wasn't, you know, taking it too seriously. And from the video, it wasn't much there. But it looked like Vince... Didn't really take it seriously, but um, I think that once he probably saw the video and once other people got in his head, he decided to suspend him for 90 days. And and this is troubling because Titus O'Neil is known for being, uh, for, for being, you know, for doing charities, and he's probably one of the most well-known, uh, people for charities out there you know usually you see it with a lot of people a lot of people from sports but he's in wrestling and he does a lot of charity work he's won awards um he has never had any incidents or, or problems with the wwe but i guess vince's ego wouldn't let it go so he's suspending him for 90 days he's gonna miss wrestlemania and i think it's it's incredibly sad but See, with Vince, Vince wants people to kiss his ass 24-7. And if you show any signs of thinking and doing your own thing, he's not going to like it. Even though he's been in the ring, he's, you know, he's gotten into it with wrestlers, you know, I guess scripted-wise. And he has no issues doing that. But somebody pull you in for a hug and you want to suspend them for 90 days? Seriously? You can't even go to can't even wrestle in WrestleMania. Now they're saying that it was because he wanted to know why he had lost because he was on a winning streak and he lost his first match to a guy I think named Adam Rhodes and he wanted to know why he lost. That that's what they're saying. He said, but the hug was real quick, so you didn't know if they said anything to each other. But I don't know. I think. Vince's Vince uh, his yes men must have told him man you can't you can't just let that slide man you got to show that you're you know you you can't let you know everyone just say and do whatever they want you got to do something about it so he suspends them for 90 days but if he fail a drug test you only get suspended for 30 days where's the priorities is it Vince's ego or Vince's business I guess his ego means more than anything but um We'll see how it goes. I mean, this is not looking good for the WWE. They've already been accused of being racist and, and being stereotypical when it comes to minorities. 
in the WWE. And I think if this gets negative, more negative PR, they're going to have to rescind that 90 day suspension. But I don't know. I think it, I don't know, it might end up making him a jobber because once the, once you get into the, the WWE, they make you a jobber and the jobber is basically a guy who loses to everybody else. You know, he's the guy who everyone loses. He's the guy that, that loses to everybody. They have up and coming talent. He's gonna lose to the fifth. If it's a it's a wrestler they want to put in a match. They don't have a match, but they want them to wrestle. He's gonna be the guy that that um, loses. in you know, so we'll see how it goes. I think this is incredibly unfortunate. Um, but I guess you can't be playful with too much with Vince McMahon, or he's gonna suspend you. So let me know what you think in the comment section below this video and your thoughts on it. Also, want to add uh, to this video. Vince McMahon is the same guy who said on national television, nigga, on live national television right, ne right near Booker T. He didn't suspend himself. There was really no outrage, but he is suspending a guy 90 days for him basically bear hugging him when he participates in the action in the ring as well. And this guy was on national TV saying, what's up, my nigga? <laughs> I think they're going to bring Hulk Hogan, too back, Hulk Hogan back too. So 